Good day, my wonderful people. You're welcome to the channel. I'm so much in love with my style, so I'll be showing you how to do this. It's from zipper, peplum top, and it's well detailed. The tutorial is well detailed. So please stay tuned and watch till the end. Thank you. This is the measurement I'll be working with today. I also have my lining. My paper stay, wordy, doll face, and this lovely Ankara print. Also, my stone zip. So, I will need to do some calculations. Although I do not know, it's not really showing. So, please just follow my explanation. The circumference of the half length is 28 inches. So I added 12 inch for pleats. That's because I only pleated the front. I did not pleat the back. So if you want your pleats to go around, you can do like 20. You can add 20 inches to it. So if you add 28 plus 12, that will give you 40 inches. So the circumference I eventually used for the waist, for the half length rather, is 40 inches. So the 40 inches, because it's going to be a 360 degree, even though there is splits, but it's 360. 60 degree peplum so i divided it by 6.28 if you divide 40 by 6.28 it will give you 6.36 now to get the length i measure the shoulder to half length is 16 inches and shoulder to blouse length is 23 inches so i subtracted the half length from the blouse length which is 23 minus 16 that gives me seven inches now i added seven inches plus the 6.36 inches that gives 13.36 the length i worked with is 13.36 which i later add i added one inch to it to make 14.36 inches the one inch is for seam allowance you will understand better when i start my cutting so don't be confused with all the calculations now i folded the lining into two at first so ensure that the joint part is facing your direction you can see the, i have two joint parts now facing my direction so i fold into four now i said i'll be working with 14.36 inches but i later approximated the 3.36 into 0.5 so which means i'll be working with 14.5 inches now so the length is 14.5 instead of you adjusting adjusting once you've done all this calculation it will be very easy for you to know the length to work with now 14.5 inches is what i need here after measuring the 14.5 i went round with the 14.5 just in form of circle you know when you hold compass and you, compass and you are trying to make circle exactly what is happening right now so i measured the 14.5 inch round so where the peplum where the half length is going to be now is 6.36 that's why i said once i'm once I start chalking, you understand better. So the next thing now is to measure 6.36. But instead of measuring 6.36, I measure 6.5. You know, I approximated the other time and I did the same now. So I just ensure that the 8 inches, which is going to be used for the length of the peplum, is still intact. That's why I cross-checked it. So I have 8, point, 8 inches. Sorry, I have 8 inches there for the length of the peplum so the 3.6 inches i measure it's round so the circumference i have here is 40 inches even though i have few inches added that's the effect of the approximation i did you know instead of 3.6.36 i use 6.5 so i have like half inch extra allowance there and i went ahead to cut everything out so after cutting the circle 
I ensure I cut two of these. So you can do this on your brown paper before transfer it, transferring it to your lining or your fabric. That's because this particular one that I'm cutting, I'm going to it's going to be a waste. Because I said that's why I, I cut two lining. So if you have your brown paper, you can just cut your brown paper, then you cut it from the lining. So if you are cutting the half, this one that I'm, I'm doing now, you just need to cut this on the brown paper. So I cut three inches round. I measure three inches all round. Sorry, 3.5 inch all round. And I cut it out. That's just to separate the parts of the fabric from the doll face. And after cutting it, I placed it on my fabric and cut it out. I added half inch to the Ankara prints and also half inch to the doll face. So that's why I said you need two lining. So the, the one that I cut now is the waist. So the actual lining that you have reserved will be for the facing of the fabric. Now, this is the back. I've already, already measured the basic bodies. I measured the nipple points on that bust, the half length, even though it's not necessary for the back, but I still measure with the method that I'm using now. I don't really need all the measurements. But, and I added two inches, which is also not needed, but I just did it the usual way we normally do. So I went ahead to measure the nipple to nipple span, which is two, uh, 3.5. The nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two, that's 3.5. I measured that from the half length back to the nipple point. After that, I went ahead to measure extra two inches. So for the shoulder, from the shoulder point, I measure 4.5. If you want to know how to do the shoulder, how I do measure my shoulder, I have lots of video which I will leave in the description box. I'll drop it there. You can watch. So from the half length, I slant it back to the 4.5 I said I measure at the shoulder point. Now for this other side which I measure 2 inches for, I just slant that one too to the arm O side. You know from shoulder, I do measure 7 inches down for the arm O. So I just ensure that the 2, point, two, two inches is connected with straight lines to the arm O directly. And the 2 inches I left for the allowance, I, had, I added it back to the measurement so i won't be short of measurements while stitching and i have lots of videos on how to cut bustier so if this is not clear enough i'll drop that also in the description box and i went ahead to cut everything out you can also do it the normal back the normal way how you do your back and you cut you cut the show uh, sorry how you do your usual back and you just put the dots there now for the front bodies i chugged it the sh uh, sh from shoulder to nipple point shoulder to under bust shoulder to half length and i had it half inch for ease uh, sorry for allowance so at the front here i had it half inch that's where the zipper is going to be fixed so i don't really need much allowance for the zipper since it's not the back so i had it half inch for that so from shoulder to arm o i marked seven inches and from that seven inches also i chugged 4.5 inch at the elbow here at the arm o i chugged one inch just to create the arm o shape having done with that i marked the nipple to nipple 3.5 just the way i did for the back so from the half length back to the nipple point then i also measure extra two inch allowance so these two now i try to separate them now you know with the two inches there is separation between the middle and the side down so for the middle part it's going to take half and the side will take 1.5 you understand better now so this is where the effect is going to take place from the under bust then the half inch is measured at the nipple point i'll connect it to the 4.5 inches then for the side it's going to take effect from the under bust with cuff shape 
then i'll just let it pass through the arm o side now this is our bustier but in order to ensure that the the side and the middle have equal edge that's why i just slant, i just try to slant it here just to ensure they have equal edge so that while stitching one will not be short and the other will be longer now the two inches i divided between the two sorry the two inches i uh, i divided between the two i added it back to the measurement so i won't be short of fabric then i went ahead to cut everything out so this is the front and i notched the under bust of both sides because they must align while stitching then for the neckline i measure two and a half inches by three i use two and a half for the for the width and the length is three inches so at the shoulder here i measure one inch and slant it back to the neckline i've done that for the back as well and i notch the half for the zipper allowance so you just ensure that this part align first of all so after cutting my fabric i added interface the one i showed you before the paper stay i added it to both the lining so i'll be work i'll be doing the back first i've stitched the main bodies of the back the fabric and now i stitch the the lining as well the next thing now is to stitch the front so for the front i stitch the side and the middle together and i've added my body to that as well like i said i have videos if this is not clear enough i i will drop that in the description box so this is what it looks like after joining the two together this is the lining of the back so i'll just join the neckline together you can see i did not turn it i just joined that's because of the turtle neck or the collar that is at the neckline now after joining the body i notch the two sides i marked like three inches and i notch it that's where the band will be fixed i did not cut the band separately i prefer doing it this way so i notch 3.5 i just ensure that it started from the i ensure that it started from the half length and ended at the under bust so i mark that out so i don't make mistake and for the band also i added interface so i added seam allowance to the to the band and i went ahead to stitch on the on the fabric so this part i have done the lining the lining does not need any band so i just stitch the two together for the flay i'll be stitching these together you know it's supposed to be one but because it's two different fabric the door face and the ankara fabric i had to separate them then later rejoin that was why i added half inch earlier so now after joining the two together you can see the lining is not joined it's one i just went ahead to turn with my lining after stitching both the lining and the fabric together this is what i have i went ahead to high on it now the front after turning the front i just stitched the neckline i picked the the sides together and stitched the measurements and also turn the neckline the shoulder rather the shoulder i have videos too 
any of my videos shall you see how to do the shoulder there now for the sides also i stitch the measurement out so now to connect the peplum side and the main bodies together i pick the fabric and the two fabrics i mean the the flay and the main fabric together now i've not joined the lining so i marked 2.5 2.5 inches for the pleated part where i'm going to pleat i marked 2.5 inches and i went ahead to pleat there so to turn it now i place the peplum in between the two which i placed it in between the lining and the main body's fabric the bustier part and stitch on it and i went ahead to turn it through the arm o i turn it out Now you can see our peplum is almost ready. So I went ahead to give it a good press. So this is the velvet tape I used. It's like one inch, it's one inch. So I left cut of an inch at the front before fixing the before fixing the velvet tape so I just chuck the quarter of an inch and I went ahead to stitch the velvet tape so I stitched two on both sides then for the color I measured the circumference of the neckline and stitch the the velvet tape on it sorry I'll still show you how I did the color how I came about the measurements I used so I just went ahead to stitch on it so I measured the circumference of the collar you can see and I added half uh, one inch to it so I cut two of this and also I measure like one inch and slant it back to the normal measurement but after sewing I noticed that the one inch wasn't okay so I try to adjust it so i later used two inches so if you are cutting yours at the upper side of it here measure two inches not one inch so don't repeat my own error then that was why i said i had to redo it then i just stitch it this way so you can see I did not bother to stitch this side it's not really necessary but if you like you can stitch it then for the last velvet tape I went ahead to fix it this way I just stitch it direct on the you know the I have rough edge there so I just stitch it on the rough edge just to cover up the you can see so I just stitch it on it to cover up the edges there so the inside can still maintain its neatness and also the finishing outside will be okay.
so this is how it is i can see the inside so i have the velvet tape here so i had to trim it out and i also went ahead to fix my zipper so thank you very much for watching this video to the end it's nice having you around thank you bye and stay blessed please if you haven't subscribed and this video has done you good please subscribe it's really important thank you very much